what is up welcome back to my channel i am hopping in from my morning walk with cleo it is finally like real spring weather here in korea as you can tell i'm wearing short sleeves the sun is shining it's like the perfect breeze and i thought today would be the perfect day to film a little bit of like a spring refresh slash productive day in my life there is just an assortment of things i've been wanting to do like a little mini house deep clean i want to take you guys out to a cafe maybe even do a little bit of baking uh, i still have not used my oven which i was so excited about having and i have some bananas that are about to go bad so I feel like we might do some banana bread today. Yeah, welcome back to my channel. I'm really excited to spend the day with you guys. I'm just in such a good mood because the weather is gorgeous after a very long winter. This is much needed. And I hope wherever you are, you are having a good day as well. All right, gonna finish off walking little Miss Cleo. She's so happy right down here. And I'll see you in a little bit when we get back inside. I've been loving this smoothie recipe recently. I did just realize I forgot to put my flax seed in it, but love a blueberry banana smoothie with a little bit of protein powder to give it like a vanilla touch. Also with the weather being nicer out lately, I feel like I've been walking more and because of that, I've been getting hungrier. So here's your reminder that if you are feeling hungrier as the seasons are changing, that is totally normal. It can very well be because of like increased daily activity, like my case. to our little tulips from one of the recent vlogs. You guys gave me so many good pieces of advice for how to keep these guys alive for longer. Some of the things I need to do next time is cut them out of slant. And a lot of people said I should put sugar. And some people also recommended adding a penny. Maybe that has something to do with the copper going into the water. As you guys know, I'm trying to find something to cover up this. I've been thinking about doing a mirror or a piece of art, but for now I'm just going to use my YouTube button because I am so sick of looking at those plugs. And we're just going to improvise today with some of our big flowers. <laughs> I got this light color rug I had a couple people say girl once you put that rug down you are gonna be cleaning it every single day you're not gonna stop cleaning it and you know what you were not wrong I definitely have to clean this rug just about every single day I typically go over with it with like a lint roller because I feel like the vacuum doesn't do a good job at cleaning it um, but you know it's not that hard since it's not a huge rug but I just wanted to say to the girlies who said that you're absolutely right. <laughs> Okay, I'm about to take you guys with me to a cafe. I have been like really in the mood to make a couple of mood boards. First of all, I want to make one that is all about like meals and like meal ideas, fun meal ideas for the upcoming seasons because honestly my boyfriend has been doing most of the cooking. Um, however, I want to like get back in the kitchen and just have fun with like some lunch and dinner ideas. So I thought it would be fun if I just like brainstorm 
and just like make some kind of like PDF file so I can just refer to that whenever I'm in the mood to like cook something fun. And then I also want to make a spring slash summer fashion mood board. You guys know like I'm all about dressing very basic. I typically like to have like a capsule style wardrobe. Um, but I just feel like in years past, I've reached for the same exact outfit again, again, and again. And I don't want to do that again this summer. I want to have like a more fun sense of style. So I feel like if I make some kind of like collage or inspo board with different outfits, that will definitely help me just like diversify my outfits this summer. So let's head out. I also found a pet friendly cafe. So we're going to bring Cleo. It's a beautiful day. So I want to like just get her out of the house with me. Okay, we're back. I wanted to show you how the mood board turned out. If you are struggling to find like your sense of style or come up with outfits, definitely make one of these. I feel so inspired and now I just really feel like I know what to look for when I go shopping. I actually just got a package in from Estier. I'm thrilled to be working with them on this video. Estier is a clothing brand that's actually been around since 1994. Their brand has one of the most unique styles, which is a mix between minimalism while also serving up bold looks that can be worn for several occasions when I was browsing their website a lot of their stuff reminded me of stuff that you could either wear out to like a nice dinner or even stuff you could wear to the office if you're working so I'm gonna try out everything I got and as usual I will have the links to all these pieces down in the description box below okay so starting off we have this v-neck ruffled chiffon blouse this is so stinking cute I always love wearing clothes like this in the spring I feel like it just screams spring or summer I love shirts like this because I feel like they're super breathable because obviously you just tie it here at the front and then you can literally breathe super well under here and you can wear it with like a short sleeve like what I have on right now or even just like a little cami and I love this style shirt because I feel like it's super form-fitting since it just ties at the front you can just adjust it to whatever size you are and I like how it's not too long I feel like it's like that perfect Kind of like crop size okay next up we have this satin style a regular cami the reason that's a regular is because it goes down a little bit longer on this side compared to right here and whenever i go out to eat in the summer like some kind of like night vibe i always wear a satin cami it's literally my go-to style shirt so when i saw this on Esther's website i was like i need that these satin style cami shirts are like a staple to my closet in the summer just because they are so breathable and i love how it has the adjustable straps in the back so you can change it to be however like loose or low that you want it literally so cute i'm so excited to wear this this summer okay next up we have this adorable floral cutout blouse obviously you can wear it long which i think would look really cute with a pair of heels but i also love the idea of maybe tying it a little bit to turn it into like a cute little crop moment i have been dreaming of having something like this in my closet for literally forever. I've never had a piece like this. I feel like every time I go to the store and I try something like this on, it just doesn't fit right or the quality is lacking. But this one is so amazing. And once again, another really good piece for summer because it's super breathable. Usually I would just wear like a nude bodysuit under something like this. Okay, love me some new little dress up pieces, but I will obviously always be a t-shirt gal at heart. You guys always see me wearing t-shirts and this is my newest one. I love this because I feel like this is totally something you could dress up or down, just like adding some cute gold jewelry to it like what I've done right now. Okay, final piece I have to show you is this blue solid color pleated off the shoulder top. This is definitely a shirt I would love to wear if I was like going out with friends at night. And I feel like it's another one of those pieces that you just put this on and you can just wear any old pair of pants and it makes the outfit because it has all of this detailing up here, which is so pretty. I used to wear off the shoulder shirts like this all the time in college. So this is definitely bring back memories and I want to wear more shirts like this because they're super cute. All right. So that's my little spring clothing haul. Very excited to have some new pieces in my wardrobe that I know I'm actually going to want to wear when I go out. And Estier is being super generous and offering you guys a 20% off coupon. So you can get 20% off your entire order, no minimum, using the code HILL20. So thank you so much to Estier for partnering with me on this video. Literally so excited to wear this. I'm pretty sure I'm going to wear this to my birthday dinner which is coming up this month so you guys will definitely see this in an upcoming vlog soon
since I'm adding some new stuff to my wardrobe, I decided I might as well just like go through my closet and take some stuff out that I have not been wearing. I really am due for like a whole closet switch up where I take out the winter stuff and then I put all the summer stuff in, but it's just like not quite summer weather yet. So I want to wait maybe like a couple more weeks and I feel like that's gonna be a really time consuming task. So I will probably end up filming that for a future vlog. So we're not gonna like take out the winter stuff in today's vlog, but I do have like some stuff that I feel like I just need to go through and decide if I'm keeping it or not for the next season. For example, I have just like some shirts that have stains that are just like not recoverable and putting this in storage is just going to be a waste of space because I'm not going to wear it next year. So kind of just going through and clearing some stuff out. Update on the dresser situation. Still don't have a dresser in here. I definitely think I want to get one. We're making do right now without one just because we have all of this under the bed storage, which is great i'm so glad i went with this bed but i don't know i'm scared if i end up getting a dresser it's gonna make me want to hoard clothing i mean as you can see like we literally don't have anything at the top of the shelf because neither my boyfriend and i are huge clothing collectors i mean i used to be if you go watch my 2020 vlogs i showed my closet in some of those videos and i had so many clothes it's actually crazy how much i've um, downsize. This is just like another one of those shirts that has like one of these stains and I'm just not going to be able to wear it. So we're going to call our losses here. Guys, look at these Cleo socks. Are these not the cutest little things ever? Okay, we're going to make banana bread. It is my first time making this. I had some bananas that are about to be bad, so I was like, let's just use them up. Also, I have not really used my oven <laughs> since I moved here. Our oven is interesting. It's like a combination between oven and a microwave, and I feel like it's just like on tartar territory for me. I've been a little bit scared to use it, but I think I finally figured out how to use it, and we're gonna just start by making something super simple. I really wanna do more baking this spring, specifically breads. Like, I made that pistachio bread, back in December, I think it was, or January, and that was so much fun. I wanna do more like that. I have a bigger kitchen now, which is like the perfect time for me to delve into like my baking era. I feel like I've just become so accustomed to not having an oven that now that I have one, I don't know what to do with myself. Not even gonna lie guys, my house smells so good. And I think it's ready to come out. Oh. Ah. It's easy to make promises for the okay, obviously we gotta do a little taste test. This looks so freaking good. Hopefully the coconuts pair as well with it. It was not in the recipe that I had, had like initially followed, but you know what? YOLO, I love coconut, so I was like, well, let's just add some. Wow, looks so good. Mmm. Mm -mm -mm. This tastes so freaking good. The only thing I think it's lacking is the vanilla extract and the brown sugar that I didn't use. It's definitely not sweet. It just tastes more like banana and coconut, but it doesn't have like that super sweet taste that bread usually has. Obviously, like I just didn't feel like going out and buying those two ingredients just for this recipe. But if you have them, um, definitely add them in because I feel like it will make it sweeter, but also obviously like adding a bunch of sugar isn't the healthiest thing. Overall though, I'm very satisfied. Do you want a piece? All right, last thing I'm gonna take care of for today is just a quick bathroom cleanup. We're gonna make this super fast. I think I'm just gonna set a timer for 15 minutes. Something I realized about myself is if I don't set timers, I will just let the time get carried away and I will end up spending like two hours cleaning when I'm only meaning to do a quick sweep through. <laughs> It's 
all done in here. It's crazy how fast you can get stuff done when you are not distracted with your phone or anything like that. And now it is time to take a much needed shower. Fresh out of the shower, feeling so good, especially after doing that bathroom clean. Definitely needed a shower. What I didn't mention was this refresh was kind of sparked or inspired after something happened the other day that kind of sent me into a little like 24 hour rut. I thought I would share it with you guys, not for sympathy or to be like, woe is me, but literally because anytime I have something like this happened in my life, I always try to find a silver lining and I always try to learn a lesson from it and maybe pass it on to you guys. So it felt like just an ordinary morning. I was walking Cleo outside and she was using the bathroom. Now, as I was doing this, somebody who was walking around came up right next to me and he stopped and he started like breathing down my shoulder, like peeking over us to watch my dog poop and then obviously he was waiting to see if I was gonna pick it up. Now this has happened before. It's weird, people have stopped and literally breathed down my shoulder before and it's not really something I'm taken aback by anymore just because it has happened before. So I was just thinking, okay, he's probably just gonna like watch me pick up my dog's poop and then go about his day. Leo does her business and I obviously pick it up and I praise her, I say good girl and then we keep on walking and suddenly I hear what sounds like somebody like calling zoo animals. Like it, it wasn't even like speaking Korean or English. It was like a, a sound that you would use to try to call like wild animals or something. I can tell he's trying to accuse me of not picking up after my dog. However, I know for a fact I did. I was even extra careful because he was standing right above me. And in that moment, I just knew it was a case of one or two things. It was either sexism because I'm a female or it was racism. I'm not gonna say which one because I obviously don't know. But what I do know is that there's hundreds of other people in that park with dogs and out of everybody, he decided to pinpoint me. Obviously, like I didn't wanna ignore him. So I go back over to him and I show him, no, I picked up after my dog. Thank you, goodbye. As I'm saying this, he starts literally yelling every curse word under the sun. I'm not even kidding, like every word you would not want your child to know. He was saying it to me and it went on for like such a long time. And at this point, I just realized like, this dude is literally up to no good. He's just being an asshole. So I just say to him like, goodbye, thank you. And I turn around and I walk the other way. And obviously like that completely triggered him because he got louder and louder. And when I say this guy was screaming, it was like everyone in the park just stopped and was staring. And like, obviously nobody wanted to help, which is fine because that's just kind of like how things tend to go. I walked away, I was really, really shooken up. And then a little bit later on, like maybe 15 minutes later, I actually went back over there to do a double check just to make sure, like, did I really pick up everything? And yes, there was nothing there. And I know for a fact I picked up after my dog because somebody was watching me. So I was extra careful. I'm not gonna lie, I was pretty upset after that all happened just because like I just hate the way somebody would want to pick on a random stranger and like accuse me of doing something that I know I didn't do and then on top of that it's like you add in the sexism or the racism factor and it just like makes me even more upset. But there is something I very quickly realized and that is, you know, hurt people hurt other people and I know for a fact that that guy was literally just taking all of his anger out from some other situation onto me, a complete stranger. I, I'm literally like young enough to probably be his daughter. He was quite a bit older than me. I very quickly realized that it was not like a me problem, it was a him problem. And being able to recognize that like really helped me kind of like snap out of that quick little upset episode that it put me into. And I'm not gonna lie, that situation happening brought up just a lot of old memories from different situations. Like for example, being in school and having somebody that like I had never talked to before pick on me for r dumb reasons, or you know, maybe being put in a situation where you have to be around someone that you feel uncomfortable around, stuff like that. And I just wanted to extend the message to you guys because I know it's like about to be a new season and some of you guys might be going to summer classes or maybe like you're going on a summer vacation with a family member that you don't get along with well. And I just want to remind you that like 
the way somebody treats you is a reflection of usually how they feel about themselves. Most of the time when you are mistreated by someone, a lot of the time it is not your fault and it is something that is completely out of your control. And so if that ever happens to you, I just wanna remind yourself to try your best to hold your head up and always, always, always take the high road because when you take the high road and you don't like yell back those curse words or like anything like that. I mean, I was, I stayed completely quiet when that guy started cussing me out. All I said was, no, 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 <laughs> bye. And you know, I obviously could have cussed right back to him. I could have said a bunch of mean things, but when you take the high road, you are putting out like way better energy into the world. And I'm a big believer in like what you put out comes right back to you. So that's just my little lesson. If any of you guys are going through something right now, or if you, happen to get in a similar situation that I was in when like a complete stranger just starts cussing you out for no reason. Take the high road and just try to remember that hurt people hurt other people and it is most likely not um, caused by something that you did but instead caused by something that they're going through. Anyways, that's my little lesson of the day. I'm gonna go let this mask sit, have a cup of tea and put myself to bed. I hope you guys enjoyed this little spring refresh video. I had a lot of fun filming it. I'm starting a um, work week in the life from next week and then we're also gonna be filming a moving vlog. I'm finally gonna be getting my bedroom in order so that's gonna be fun. If you're not already, don't forget to subscribe, join our family, give this video a thumbs up, let me know how you found my channel and I'll see you very soon in the next vlog. Bye guys!